Today we're in Jarrow, it's the recreation of the Jarrow March, the 7th anniversary, and we're marching the 300 miles from Jarrow, London, like the Jarrow Crusade as did all those years ago. I'm very pleased to see so many of you here today. I think the support we've had from the local people in Jarrow has been amazing. 75 years ago this week, my great granddad was one of the 200 out of work men who marched the 300 miles to London to make their voices heard by the same system of millionaire government who are supposedly there to represent us. Yet we have them fiddling their expenses and putting up university fees for ordinary working class young people so they can't achieve their full potential and get the jobs that they deserve. The government's uh, austerity agenda really demonstrates that in 75 years since the original march, um, this system, capitalism, one that's based on the profits for a tiny minority of society and not the needs of the vast majority, hasn't found any permanent uh, kind of um, solution to the problems that, those, that the original marchers faced. In Jarrow in the 1930s, there was 70% unemployment, massive poverty, starvation, disease around the town. And it's inspiring that these men were not prepared to sit, to just sit there and watch their families suffer because of the conditions they were forced into. The only way their voices would be heard would be by, make, by ma making the 300 mile journey from Jarrow to London and making their points in person to their so-called representatives. Living standards are, 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 are better now. Um, you know, young people still face problems of unemployment. They still face problems around their living standards. Um, and really, what we're marching to demand is, is no return to the 1930s. Fight for jobs. Fight for jobs. This march is not a plea. It's a measure of organised rage of young people in this country of the way in which society is treating them. Well, it's uh, just my luck to come on uh, after a speaker like Dave Nellis. I kind of feel like the uh, pub karaoke lad after Frank Sinatra. But uh, it's great to be here with you uh, today. It's fantastic to meet people like uh, James, who remembers walking alongside his uh, his father back in '36, and Emma, who waved uh, waved them off. Good Jarrow people, and of course Lizzie, all the way from Gateshead. I'm very proud to stand here to support the young workers in the march, but the resurrecting. I think it's wonderful that the youth are doing something to stand up and be counted. The 30s were a time of mass unemployment and few public services. We will not allow this government of millionaires through their right-wing ideology to take us all back to that. Unite together, stay strong, defend ourselves, and together we will defeat them. Solidarity. Yay! There is a socialist alternative that was common currency when the original Jarrah March left this borough 75 years ago. We're going to bring it back onto the pages of history and bring it back today. Solidarity with the Jarrah Marchers. There is an alternative to the way the economy works. If the economy is not working, let's change uh, change the economy. Thanks. Honestly, good. Look, well done. Making your point known. Yeah. Everyone's always coming up and saying that we saw it on the news or read it in the paper, and they are really they're really supportive of it. And a lot of the do we've had a lot of donations from people in Jarrow, and they do seem really enthusiastic about this cause being promoted. I mean, the North East does have one of the highest unemployment rates in the country. And at the time of the march, it was 70% of the population out of work. 75 years on, there's no comparison to the conditions that we're facing. But we feel that the only way that we're going to have ourselves heard is by going back to basics to get the same system to listen to us. I think the original marchers would be proud of what we're doing, fighting for our rights here. But at the same time, they would be angry and disappointed that we have to go back to these tactics to make ourselves heard. Thanks! for the young people who are marching down to London. It's for every young person that wants a job, every young person that wants a home, every young person that wants decent services and access to education, and every young person that wants a future. Good luck and solidarity from the RMT. In the next five years, youth unemployment is set to rise to one... 1.5 million and we have to say enough is enough to this government. Public sector jobs are going, the people who are being forced out of work are normally young people and people with families to support. Myself, I would like to go into youth work after this because it's given me so much but with jobs being cut in youth work I would have nothing to offer to my community. 
if I didn't have a job in that sort of role. The government are cutting courses and apprenticeships, scrapping EMA, in implementing academy schools, raising, un raising university fees. The condemned government have taken our futures away from us while they've been privately educated and the cabinet is made up of millionaires who are making decisions which affect the real people of, these, of this country. They have no idea the impact this will have on real people. Now, last week, the media, the media described me as spiky head and furious. And I think we all need to be furious at what this government is doing to us. I'm proud to see so many of you taking the initiative that the original march has had and following in their footsteps to sh of the Jarrah Crusaders to show this government that we're not going to take these cuts lying down and show them what a disgrace they are. to uh, go back to the levels of, of poverty and the levels of unemployment that the, that the, the original march has faced. And, and this is part really of, of building a mass movement all the way down the country. We'll be linking up with trade union uh, branches, anti-cuts groups, holding massive uh, demonstrations and protests against the cuts. And what we want this to be is, is really is a, is a rallying point for the anti-cuts movement in this country.